Welcome to Derek's world of motorcycling. I'm Derek. Today I'll be walking you guys around my Kawasaki S2A. This is a 1973 Kawasaki S2A 350 triple. It's my first ever two straight motorcycle, my second motorcycle restoration, and it helped to keep me sane during the second Covid lockdown. I bought it in January 2021 from Classic Bike Imports, also known as Freddy the Fat Frog. Definitely not the friendliest bike dealer I've ever dealt with. It's a Canadian import. As far as I know, S2As weren't officially imported into the UK. Maybe one of you can let us know in the comments if that's correct. The bike had to be registered with the DBLA. It took three months due to the backlog from Covid. The bike was more or less complete, although obviously missing indicators and mirrors. However, it was in poor condition. It looked as if someone had found it in a barn and tried to use it as a dirt bike. It also looked like it had been dropped on the right hand side. The plan was to fully restore the bike, keeping its original style, but also to make changes to suit my tastes and to make it easier to maintain. For example, by replacing JIS screws with Allen key bolts, replacing front brake rubber tubing with braided hose, and replacing the oil pump banjo washers with doughty ones. Where possible, I repaired and reused parts rather than replacing them. For example, all three oil lines were leaking, and as they are no longer manufactured, I repaired them rather than replacing them with second hand or new old stock ones. Dismantling the bike was relatively straightforward. However, the carbs had to be soaked in boiling water to free them up. They were in a terrible state. Luckily, the engine internals seemed to be okay. The engine and switch gear covers were vapor blasted. The bowels were honed and the carbs ultrasonically cleaned. The crankshaft was reconditioned by Gary Clark at Downpipe 3. All the frame components were powder coated. All chrome items we chromed. Metal polishing was by Brightworks in Burton on Trend. The electrics were in good working order, despite the missing indicators. I kept the points ignition system, but replaced all the points and condensers. The front forks were cleaned up and all seals replaced. The fuel tank was de rusted through electrolysis. The original candy blue colour of the bike was a bit flat for me. So I decided to paint it in a slightly darker, more metallic shade, just to give it a bit more pop in the sunlight. Decals were supplied by Rick Brett. The rebuild started in July 2021. First engine start was in August.
work was finally completed at the end of October. But a mistake with the installation of the kickstart shaft meant that, unfortunately, the engine had to come out again. The bike was finally ready to hit the streets in May 2022. This bike's the first two-stroke I've ridden, and now I'm definitely a two-stroke fan. It's great fun to ride. Hitting the rev band is addictive, and I love the sound of that engine. On the downside, the fuel consumption, combined with the peanut sized fuel tank, mean that range anxiety is not only confined to owners of electric vehicles. Meanwhile, welcome back to the Kickstart Challenge, the segment that exposes the anxiety associated with cold starting a classic bike. The H2 was first on the leaderboard, requiring seven kicks to start. Will kickstarting the S2A raise more of a sweat? The S2A finds itself behind the H2 on the leaderboard, only requiring two kicks to start. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.